Hello. Welcome to the PTC Virtual Conference. My name is Graham Birch, and the focus of this breakout session is the Structured Bill of Material. Today's manufactured products are complex, and are becoming increasingly complex as products that we once thought of as purely mechanical devices have evolved. In many cases, smart connected products are complex systems of mechanical, electrical, electronic, embedded sensors, onboard software, and even with parts of the product functionality moving off the product and into the cloud. The breadth of digital information required to conceive, design, manufacture, and support such a product is tremendous. And it requires the cooperative creation and management of many artifacts, such as systems of functional designs, 3D designs, 2D drawings, PCB layouts and schematics, software source code, along with additional describing documents and supporting specifications. In addition, in today's globalized economy, this information, the complete product definition, if you would, is created by and must be accessed by distributed teams to enable streamlined collaboration both internally and with external design partners and suppliers. Companies must be able to manage and communicate change across several organizations and roles and maintain the various configurations required to support multiple activities throughout the value chain. In this presentation, we'll focus on one of the most important deliverables, the bill of material. The bill of material is considered to be the recipe by which a product is made. And as such, it could be regarded as the digital DNA of the product. Errors in this crucial part of the product definition leads to delays, frustration, cost overruns, scrap and rework, and poor quality. And many roles are involved in the creation, editing, and consumption of all this essential product information. If you just consider the design functions alone, there are many teams that will be involved, from mechanical to electrical to software and to quality. And then beyond that, there are many other people who either contribute to or consume the information in the engineering bill of materials. This list can grow, and it includes other teams such as manufacturing, marketing, sourcing, sales, and many others. If you were to map out all of the roles across all the different processes, you'd create quite a matrix of intersection points. Today, many companies struggle with sharing information across these points of intersection due to all the different systems and tools and data types that are used. This creates many challenges, such as manual translation of data, updating of multiple spreadsheets, not knowing which is the latest version, etc. One customer that we spoke to told us they had 29 different spreadsheets across these functions. In the absence of a comprehensive system for the creation and management of the engineering bill of material, companies have adopted several different approaches. Let's take a look at some of them. The traditional approach is to include the bill of material on the engineering drawing. This practice evolved naturally with the evolution of paper drawings but like many paper-based processes, it comes with some significant limitations. The media on which the bomb is created may have changed from drawing board to CAD, from paper to electronic, but the fundamental process has not changed, and that represents a significant bottleneck. We'll take a closer look at the problems that this creates later in this presentation. Another common practice is to copy and reformat the bomb that is created in engineering into a form and format that's more useful for downstream functions. Often the different formats are sent from person to person via email, resulting in several copies being in circulation. The problems arise when changes need to be made. Now all of those existing BOM documents have to be chased down and updated manually. This is time consuming and error prone and often results in some people working on out-of-date and therefore incorrect information. 
In many cases, there simply isn't a standard process for creating, updating, and sharing bills of material information within engineering and within the 